What's poppin' man? Well, it's your boy Black Ginger back with another episode of Around the World in 80 Days and in today's episode we're gonna go over my last few days in Japan. Let's start right after I woke up from last night's party at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What time did you say you woke up? Okay, cut me some slack. I, I got home at like 10 o'clock in the morning, okay? I wanted today to be like a rest day, so I stayed in bed for most of the day watching Netflix. I didn't want it to be a complete waste of a day though, so I wanted to go downstairs for a little bit and make, a, make some friends, but yeah, that's all I did today. That is the lamest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Whose team are you on? My day started off pretty late again and I didn't really do anything until I met up with Carter and Ben at the Sunshine 60 Tower on the 59th floor at Joe's Shanghai. I got the name of the restaurant this time. I don't want to hear anything. I got the name of the restaurant. But anyway, this place was crazy. It was like a freaking mall on stilts. It was crazy. And uh, the dumplings I tried there, first time ever trying dumplings, let me just say. They were great. After we ate, we found the Pokemon Center in the building, and this was like a 10-year-old me's dream come true. I've never seen so much Pokemon stuff in my entire life. I headed back to my hostel for one more night of sleep, and tomorrow I plan on finally checking out one of Japan's capsule hotels. Okay guys, so I just walked a little over an hour. It said it was going to be 30 minutes to get here from my hostel. It lied. Don't ever listen to your maps. So I just walked a little over an hour with like 50 pounds worth of bags on my back and I am like drenched in, <laughs> I'm drenched in sweat. Look at those freaking pit stains, bro. Look at this one. Oh my God, that's disgusting. <sighs> so um, I'm gonna get out of this shirt and I'm gonna take a shower and then go hit the town, hang out with some guys um, that I met today and a couple days ago. <sighs> I'm tired though. Just from that walk. Um, but this is where I'm staying tonight. This is a capsule hostel. And I mean, honestly, I if you saw like when I slept on the train the other day, it's definitely, definitely a better accommodation than, uh, than I had there. So I can't complain. I mean, I can't complain, but I'm not gonna complain. It's honestly the same size as like the beds I've been sleeping in in these hostels. So, uh, it's really not that bad. I was staying at the Moon Station Hotel and they did a great job with the Moon Station aesthetic. I, I wrote in my journal that it was some cool digs. I who? I, I don't even say I don't even say I, I promise I don't say that. I don't know why I wrote that in my journal, but I guess it was diggy. And a little nicer than I expected actually. I cleaned myself up to get ready to meet Carter and Ben one more time and we headed to the Ninja Cafe. And I just think it's so funny how they welcomed us in before they even knew we were coming. Oh. Welcome. 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 But sadly, they didn't accept cards there, and I didn't come on this trip with any cash, so we headed to our next spot, one of Tokyo's top 20 ramen spots, and uh, I don't remember the name of this spot, so uh, let's just call it one of Tokyo's top 20 ramen spots, and um, here's a video of me trying sake for the first time and trying not to embarrass myself because it, it tasted disgusting. After I left Carter and Ben, I went to go hang out with some other friends I made. It was Tigger, Austin, Mo, Dagum, John, and then also Mo, but he told me to call him Han. Anyway, it was a fun group and we had a, we had a good night at the bars. Today was my last day in Japan, which also meant it was my last day overseas, so we had to make today count. I woke up in my capsule hot and stuffy, spooning all of my bags, and honestly, I don't recommend this to anyone unless it's your last resort. I had plans to go check out one of Tokyo's bathhouses today with some friends I'd made, and 
On my way there, I ran into, let's just call them the others for now. The people who betrayed me multiple times on this trip and I knew they were gonna be in Tokyo today, but what are the odds I was gonna run into them? Apparently it was a fateful encounter, but that's a story for next episode. Anyway, my friends were waiting for me outside the bathhouse and when I got there, we all went inside together. Now, before I start the story, this is what I thought I signed up for. Mom, Dad, please click away from this video. Everyone else, I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 anime hot spring scenes. So the first thing I see when I walk in there is just a bunch of Japanese penises, and uh, I don't want to sound racist, but um, yeah, you know, I wasn't staring too hard. I, I just assumed that most of them were Japanese, and uh, I kept my eyes down because I, I was caught off guard. So it was just me and four other guys that I had just met, and I'll be honest, none of us were really that comfortable with this, but when in Japan. None of us really knew what to do, so we just watched the Japanese men to see what order they went in, and we followed them. So t I, don't, I don't know if I did it right, but I'm gonna tell you what I did, so just bear with me. So first we showered, and then we went into this really hot tub, and I was like sweating in it. It, it was crazy. And then, I didn't know this was possible, we went into an even hotter tub that I swear was like maybe two degrees off of boiling water. Okay, whatever, that was nice. And then we, we move into this freezing cold tub, literally ice cold water. And the craziest thing, it got me high. And I can't even explain it. It got me literally, it gave me a natural body high. I don't know if it was like the juxtaposition between the hot and the cold just messing with my body and just throwing me off, but it was amazing. And it was so good that I went through the whole cycle a second time just to see if it was gonna happen again. And I got high a second time. So if you really wanna like unwind and clean yourself off and, and do a nice little cleanse, I definitely recommend a bathhouse in Japan. And finally, I wanna add one more story. So the guys that I, I went to the bathhouse with, I had just met them like one or two days ago. They were pretty cool people. And um, what I'm about to say, it was, it was so funny that in that moment, I knew it was gonna be a vlog one day. I knew it was gonna be a story and they gave me permission to tell it and to attach their faces to it, <sighs> I, I'm just not gonna do that. So, um, yeah, let me just, let me, let me try to make this easier for me to tell this story. This is how it happened. What you're about to see is a reenactment of events, so the people in this video are, are all me, so don't be confused. Is that right? Hey, you got a pretty big dick, man. What? Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but... Stand up, I want to see. <laughs> what? Bro, I'm not even gay, I just want to see. Oh, dang, it is big. And keep in mind, we're just five naked guys that basically just met yesterday. And I know I'm definitely not gay, so... <laughs> you sure about that? I thought you left. Nope, I have just been waiting for you to say something weird again. Uh, okay, do you want to say anything else? Hey man, this is your show. I'm... Okay. I'm not even here. Um... Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time. Live forward, learn backwards. Peace.